Hello guys, welcome back again. Now your boy BD Salam Slink Media. Welcome back to another video. Please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Adam Slink Media. Make sure you subscribe. Then yeah, click that bell notification to get updates anytime I upload. So guys, you already know the title of this video, and I'm guessing you guys are excited that I want to finally discuss about this. I think it's a really, really hot topic, and I really you know a lot of people need clarity. And firstly, guys, everything that I want to say here are based on what other side have written about, talk about, and other people based on what people are saying. So I'm just gonna uh, bring them all together, and of course you guys can make your own decision at the end of this video so guys it's about president muhammad buhari is he alive or dead or is he cloned that's exactly the question people have been asking since 2017. people don't believe that our current president muhammad buhari is the real Mohamed Bouhari that they voted for in 2015. A lot of people have been coming out with many stories and a lot of media out there have been coming out with their own different kind of conspiracy theory. And firstly, like I've said, I've brought them all together. So firstly guys, uh, is Mohamed Bouhari currently the real Mohamed Bouhari? Because according to people, according to a lot of people who have researched this thing they are saying that somebody from another country called Jibril who look exactly like Muhammad Buhari is the one currently ruling us and they are busy the fact that they are busy it on the fact that it doesn't Muhammad Buhari and Jibril look slightly different because of their physical look the ear, the throat, and some other part of the body. You know, during 2016, 17 to 17, our president Mohamed Obari was constantly falling ill, and of course, the his health was actually telling on him, and he was traveling to UK, uh, to London, to and fro to treat himself. So, is it that people? didn't want him to survive or didn't want him to get well because now Mohamed Obari the now Mohamed Obari is very very different from then Mohamed Obari when it comes to the physical look he looks so much good so much good looking now you no know, his uh, skin is full so a lot of people are saying that no, the Muhammad Buhari that we know is thin. Thin is uh, depreciating and all those kind of sorts of things. Of course, the pictures I'm showing here. So, so their fat are based on his physical look. But firstly, guys, Zachary Dokumbo. Uh, on October 2017, said Muhammad Buhari was cloned in London. The former Niger Delta militant leader said this on live video. So let's listen to him. October, yes, that's it. Nigerian independent. Nigeria said they have independence. You have independence. A lot of people have been wishing me. Happy independent. I said, please, so don't wish me happy independent. I'm not a Nigerian. They are quarreling. If you want to be a Nigerian or Mondoistic Mondo, you can just belong to Nigeria as you want, to, not me. So, this man that they have in Asoro was speaking, even if you hear it first, you will know. You know that there is this thing, cloning. So, most Western Judeo Christian countries pretend to say that they ban. Uh, woman cloning except for the purpose of research into health and to save life. So we will not be surprised if they have done some sort of cloning in all this video that this man was incubating, this young man was incubating in, uh, where do they call it, in London, London, 
Abuja House, London. That was where he was. So today, he was talking, you know, <laughs> if you hear his voice, you know that that one is not, uh, the man was trying to mimic the original one. <laughs> trying to mimic the original one. <laughs> he didn't succeed, he didn't convince us. So, Well, for those of you who know uh, Sakari Dokumbo, you know he speaks his mind. And that was he said, that Mohamed Bouhari is cloned. And that the Muhammad Buhari now is not the Muhammad Buhari that we voted for. So guys, uh, and also guys, a lot of people still basing base on his physical look, on his health. How, you know, the, the reason why is that, like I've said before, in 2016, he was so sick, he was depreciating physically, you know. He was constantly be taken care of but surprisingly he got healed and his health improved so that is something that a lot of people see based their facts on there's the article i read saying the real reason why nigeria thinks muhammad Buhari is dead in 2017 and the one they have now is is an imposter this is coming by a site, Gossip GN. It said a lot of Nigeria brought, uh, bought into the conspiracy after a flimsy so-called condolences messages from Queen Elizabeth back in February 2017 to the, to, to the people of Nigerians talking about the president's death. So there was this particular flimsy that came out I saw it, a lot of people sent it to me and it was apparently talking about the death of uh, President Muhammad Buhari by Queen Elizabeth. According to the flimsy, she said, the death of President Buhari came to her as a shock. He has been one of the active pillars in us in, in Africa. May the good people of Nigeria and Africa know that our hearts are with them in this hard time. Where uh, supposedly this is called flimsy is reported to be fake and Queen Elizabeth never ever issued that kind of public statement. Also guys, Facebook were forced to take down two posts allegedly suggesting that President Muhammad Buhari is no longer alive. One was the one reported by CNN. And according to the one reported by CNN, let me read it, it said, CNN and finally released the dismiss of President Muhammad Buhari which took place on 27th January 2017. This is the highest fraudulent heart that I have been committed in the land by the Nota Kabas, and they should all be arrested by now. Supposedly, CNN is saying that they confirm that President Mohamed Obari died in 2017. And that they have just found out that uh, the president in Nigeria is an imposter. And that is the highest form of crime. And they are calling for the arrest of the northern leaders. Apparently, this is also fake. Because Facebook uh, found out that it was fake and they had to pull it down. Also, guys. Facebook also pulled down another message suggesting that our former president Olusegun Obasanjo knew that Donald Trump had hand concerning this uh, e-poster representing President Mohamed Buhari. According to the the, the something release, it read, "You think Trump." doesn't know that Buhari is dead? America knows 
and they are coming and those who are running the president government in nigeria with a ghost president or rather an imposter will be held accountable obasanjo never issued the kind of statement so it is fake also guys you guys know unadi kano the leader of ipo I, ipob also said on numerous occasions that our president Bwami Dubwari is no longer alive and that the one that we are looking up as a president is an imposter called Jibril. On numerous occasions he have said it. Unadu Kanu said, I keep saying this every time my deputy Uche will say don't say it, don't say that Bwari is dead. Buari is dead. It's Jibri who is there. It is the truth. I must pray the truth. The world might not want to hear it, but I am under instruction that as long as I'm behind this mic, microphone, the truth must be spoken. The truth must be preached. And that is precisely what we are doing. You know why I lost my respect for an average Nigeria? Two things. The 90, 1940 amalgamation and, Ju and Jibri al-Sudani. Now ask yourself this question, if the real Buhari was to be alive, what will Aisha Buhari be doing saying things are getting out of hands in Nigeria? I can't understand. You are telling me a country full of professors, about 9.8 million professors in the zoo? The wife of a so-called president is coming out and telling you things are getting out of hands and all of you are quiet? Everything is normal and I, I and I am asking if Melinda Trump will come out and say that things are getting out of hand in America. What do you think will happen to the husband? His pulled rating will die down immediately and he will be removed from office. This is why I ask God why am I with people who cannot reason? Can't you ask me to do something else? Why, I, why am I among them? Asha is saying our, thing, our things are getting out of hands in Nigeria and the people are stupidly blind that they cannot put one and one together to give an answer. That is what Unan the Colonel say concerning President Mohamed Buhari being cloned. Remember the time Asha Buhari was lamenting? I think about 2017-18. Thing, saying that things are getting out of hands in Nigeria, that the husband is not the one ruling. So uh, that particular speech from Asha Buhari actually also uh, kindled a lot of fire into this whole conspiracy that President Mohamed Buhari is not alive, that Jibril al Sudani is the one ruling Nigeria. Well, like I've said before, these are not my words. I'm just bringing one or two things together consigning this whole conspiracy surrounding this particular topic. I really think I need to talk about it. And also, guys, there's one website. It's called steamit.com. He published an article concerning this two years ago. And I would love to read you some of what this article read. It said, It has been confirmed that the person occupying the highest position in the, in, in the Nigeria politics is not the same person Nigeria voted for in 2015, but rather Jubril from Sudan. According to source, President Buhari died in 2017 in London, but because the APC-led government of Fulani Caliphs wanted to cover it up so that the power shouldn't go to the West because they believed that the presidency belonged to the North. However, the only way to achieve this selfish ambition was to go and import a Sudanese imposter and change his face to look like that of President Buhari so that they could continue with their evil and corrupt practice in Nigeria. 
As a matter of fact, when President Musa Yaradwa died in North Takalif, wanted to do the same, but Professor Dora stopped them and President Goodluck Jonathan became the president of Nigeria. It is obviously that the Western APC could not stop the move of bringing the imposter from Sudan to be the president, even when they knew about it. In the recent news, Ulusola, member of the APC ruling elite, said, and I quote, APC should not force me to talk. Forward by Amuso, if APC push me, I will talk. Then the governor of Imo State, Bosha Ukorocha, if I talk, Asoro will burn down by Nigeria. End of quote. Why haven't any journalists or media house interviewed or conduct investigation journalism to discover what it is that these gentlemen know that they want to talk about that brings Aso Rock down? Even Britain government knew that President Buhari is dead, and that was why Queen Elizabeth wrote the above condolence message to Nigeria and to the family. Well, this was written by one website, stillmeet.com, published two years ago. Well, it was later that particular quote, that particular quote, supposedly quote for Elizabeth, was never released, was not from Queen Elizabeth. According to find it, it was fake. I'm just stating fact. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the truth. It was fake. And again, President Muhammad Buhari came out to speak about this himself. When he was at uh, when he was in a conference in Poland in 2018, he talked about this particular question. You see, one of the questions that came up today in a meeting with Nigerians in Poland was on the issue of whether I am cloned or not. The ignorant rumor and not surprising. When I was away on medical vacation last year, a lot of people hope I was dead. That what the president, Mohamed Obwari, said. And now in 2020, why this entire protest is going on? The rumors are coming back again. Well, it's left for you to know. It's left for you to decide which one to believe or which one not to believe. For me, I know what to believe. But the truth is that all those conspiracy theory, all those supposedly released statements have honestly been discovered that all of them are fake. I have chosen not to be biased concerning this theory and I have not made any conclusion yet. So it's left for you guys. So try as much as possible to leave your comment. Don't forget to like this video and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Adam's Link Media and make sure to subscribe. Then click that bell notification to get updated anytime I upload. Have a wonderful day guys. Bye.